It's a bit rich for lefty politicians, the Human Rights Brigade and asylum charities to slam the government for the asylum seeker backlog while systematically doing everything they can to increase it. And they are actively trying to increase it for their own political and ideological benefit. A new report shows that the Illegal Migration Act will trap people who enter Britain illegally, they say, into a state of limbo. So they won't be considered for asylum, so the taxpayer will be paying for them whilst they're here, and that bill could well rise to £6 billion a year. Well, that much is true, but why are they in limbo? Well, it's because the Illegal Migration Act relies on being able to deport people back to their home country or to be protest in a safe third country like Rwanda. And the same people moaning about asylum seekers being kept in a state of limbo are also the ones blocking deportations and helping illegal immigrants with bogus legal claims or opposing Rwanda. So they're actually exacerbating the problem, and they know it. The Institute for Public Policy Research finds that even if we send a high number of people to Rwanda, then it'll still cost the taxpayer around five billion quid a year. It was reported yesterday that people tasked with judging asylum claims were told not to be sceptical of those claims and told that just because somebody has lied to you doesn't mean that their claim should be thrown out. Apparently, asylum seekers are allowed to just not answer questions that they find upsetting. So, we have various charities who want open borders, actively exacerbating the trade of human beings to Britain. We have politicians who obviously want to help win the next general election by undermining the current government, by trying to block everything, and a protocol for deciding asylum applications that is, at its very core, fatally flawed. And all of this ultimately means that the British taxpayer is going to have to pay five or six billion pounds a year. It feels a bit to me like we are being ground down to just accept open borders or give up and say, you know what? Let everybody on the backlog stay. That's what it feels like, doesn't it? Can you imagine if ordinary Brits on the breadline in insecure accommodation, homeless or struggling, were given anything like that concerted effort of support or treated as a priority? As it stands, apparently, there is £6 billion a year on offer, just not for Brits. And I think that's wrong.